Hi everybody, and thanks for joining me for another Fallout 4 Hero Collectors video. Um, this video is actually it's months overdue. I should have done it a long time ago, but um, I've actually got some free time at the moment, so I thought, you know, I can uh, do a couple more videos um, for the Fallout series, because I've still got this one and my... Um, the airship one to do, the Pridwin. Um, but I've also just found out some information just recently as well that it seems like um, that Eagle Moss has uh, just recently gone into administration. So if you are looking to get one of these figures, they are still available on sites like Amazon. Um, if, if you really want to try and get hold of one to probably complete your collection, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I would pretty much do that ASAP because I'm not quite sure exactly what's cracking off with Eagle Moss at the moment. So it's um, a bit of bad news to start off with, but I thought, you know, I still need to do this video, so I'll get it out of the way anyway, and um, we'll take a bit of a closer look. So anyway, same format as usual. We'll take a, a 360 degree look at the box, then we'll crack the box open, and we'll actually take a look at the vertibird inside. So... As you can see, let me get my tape measure as well, because we'll give you a rough idea of the box. So the box itself is about just under, I think it's about just under 400 grams. Um, the actual weight of it. So let's have a look. So the actual there, you're looking at about 30 centimeters long and about 20 centimeters. And you can't see this, but we'll have a look at the depth. The depth is about, it's about 12 centimeters. So it's a nice, nice size box. So yeah, anyway, there's the top of the box, and then we'll uh, just spin it around. Again, just a bit of information just on the side there. Nothing really of any importance. Again, you've got the herocollector.com down there. Um, I've not even checked to see if that if that works. I would assume it does, but um, maybe that will be something I'll probably do in a bit. And we'll get around to the other side again. Again, nothing special. So if we just crack this open, so let me just come over and then it's actually protected by some um, some foam so what it is if we go inside just take that out it comes let's have a look you've got the base the actual verti bird itself and i would assume that's going to be the stand just on the left hand side so i'm just going to pause the video um build this little beauty and then we'll take a a bit of a closer look at it in two ticks so I'll, I'll catch you in one second okay so that was <laughs> relatively painless and um, pretty much straightforward so like I say it comes in three pieces which is the, the base the actual stand the natural verti bird itself it actually just rests if we just take it off there look it actually just rests on the actual stand itself so all the contours and bits and bobs underneath just um, nestle beautifully into the actual stand itself so yeah the actual product itself is made of um, plastic and it also says die cast metal as well but i'm failing to see where that die cast metal is anyway but uh yeah so it's a nice little piece the natural colors probably don't seem to be coming through as well on the videos as it actually is in real life but the actual propellers as well they're, they're all fixed they're, they're completely molded so they will not turn or anything, so you don't need to worry about that. So if we just do like a, if we move in a little bit more, and I'll just spin it around as well. So it is a nice piece, but like I say, the um, the actual company seems to have gone into administration, so I'm not even sure what's cracking off with that at the moment. Um, so if you are desperate to try and get hold of one of these, I would pretty much do it as soon as you can, because like I say, um, I know Amazon have still got uh, have still got this on available on their on their site, so I would probably get on their ASAP and uh, try and get hold of one. I think it's going for about forty five pounds at the moment. I know at one point these these did come down to I think below thirty quid. I think it was about twenty two pounds or something a number of months back, but um, that was like a, a really good deal at the time. So yeah, anyway, I'm not going to ramble on too much longer. So yeah. That is the Vertibird from Fallout 4. Um, I still have the airship, the Pridwin to do as well, so um, keep an eye out for that. But uh, like I say, you know, if you, if you are desperate to try and get hold of these vehicles to 
um, complete your collection, I would pretty much get right on it right now and um, try and get them in as soon as possible because, um, you know, it's, it's a bit frustrating not to get a complete collection. It's uh, very much like the, the Power Armor one as well because I was looking at um, doing the, the video for the Power Armor from Miguel Moss. Now, I did put my pre-order in for that well in advance, but for some reason, Eagle Moss didn't fulfill the order, which I'm very disappointed with. Um, you know, I was in communication with them a, a number of times, sent them a few emails, but they, they never got back to me. So maybe that was a bit of a sign of uh, darker things to come with the company. I'm not quite sure. But like I say, they are currently, from what I can tell, in a, in administration. Um, so, yeah, just, just keep your eye out for that. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the end of that video. So I hope to see you again soon for the um, the Pridwin uh, video unboxing as well so until then take care and thanks for watching